Oh, here we are. Well spotted, Ali. What fell on my back there? Oh, bird shit. Has a bird shitted on my back? Can you believe that? <laughs> Halfway through a food review and a bird comes and shits on my back. But I tell you what, it's not going to stop me from doing this food review. Right then guys, welcome back to another Food Troll Food Review. The food channel that is passionate about fast food and passionate about bringing you all those little hidden gems in the area. And for today's review, we have come to South Shields on Frederick Street to try out our place, well, with a bit of a Punjabi vibe. It's called Jaska Grilda, which roughly translates to Pleasure of the Grill. Right then guys, here we are. We've got our food. We have got our Chaska Nan Kebab Special. Right, I'm gonna put this down. It weighs a ton. Oops. Right, where are we gonna get started first? We've got to get, we need to get the fork and the tissue. Have you got him? Yeah. We've got the fork there. You're a yeah, you regular here, are you? Yeah, me often. Uh, what's your favourite? Uh, the hot spicy, the uh, Mexican hot shot. And uh, the other one is Chica. Uh, Chica, good story. Right then, we are going to start off with the Chaska Nan Kebab Special. Take a look at it. Well wrapped up. Oh, mate, look at that. Wow. Let's get all this salad out of the way and let's see what's underneath here. Okay, what this kebab consists of What this kebab consists of is Chaska chicken Now, the Chaska chicken I'm told is prepared and marinated in their special secret sauce uh, I think you can have it in different spices. You can go mild, you can go medium, you can go hot shot as well. I've gone medium. Let's take a bite of this first. Oh. Mm. Look at them juices in that chicken. Oof, I tell you what, you didn't know I've got a kick on it. If you like your chicken hot and spicy, I would definitely recommend the Chaska chicken. The marinade as well, it's different. It's like a peri peri, but with a bit more herbs and spices. There's something else quite going off in my mouth. I'm not too sure what it is. No. I'm not a big fan of onions, so the onions are gonna get pushed to a side. They said the onions are part of the marinade, part of the sauce as well. Right, chicken tikka. Let's get a bite of chicken tikka. That looks alright. Mmm. Last week's review. Last week's review. We tried three different kinds of chicken. That chicken there as well, it tastes totally different to the Tuscar chicken. It's the chicken tikka. It's nice, it's juicy, it's succulent. Then were the three things you want out of your chicken. Juicy, succulent, and tender. They are all that. Right then guys, kebab. This kebab is the third ingredient of this kebab. And take a look at that, thinly cut. Look at the herbs and spices on that. Wow, that kebab is literally dripping in juices. It's a busy street as well, there's quite a few cars coming down this street. Let's try this. Mm. Wow. That kebab, for me, is the best out of all them three. 
It's the best out of the chickens. It's the best out of the chicken just go. That kebab, I've tried a few kebabs in my time. Wow. That is kebab heaven. Kebab heaven. If there's a heaven for kebabs, this kebab is going to be stood at the gates of heaven, letting all the other kebabs in. Rubber dinghy rapid, bro. Mm. Ali, can you give me some tissue, please? Oh, mate. That is absolutely divine. Right, we've got a naan bread to go with it as well. Naan bread made fresh in house. It's nice, it's soft, it's fluffy. Right, let's get a bit of kebab on that as well. Let's try that with a bit of naan bread, eh? Wow, absolutely wow. Right. I've also got myself the chicken tikka Apana style pizza. For those of you who are wondering what Apana style is, Apana style is pizza, but they make it a bit more fiery. It's got a bit more spices, it's got more chilies in to give it that desi, give it that Punjabi kind of flavor. Because this place, don't forget, samples their food on the Punjabi style. And that kebab. It tastes like a kebab, but it's got a Punjabi kind of feel, Punjabi kind of vibe to it. Right. I'm not sure what he's put in here. Oh, we've got some salad. I think we're gonna disregard that. Chili and garlic as well, I think. It's got chili and garlic. We're not fans of salad when we come to kebab shops. Right, we've got a few in here. Uh, what's here? Oh, we've got a portion of chips. We'll come back to them. What I am looking for is sauces. It's in there with the garlic chili. Oh, here we are. Well spotted, Ali. What fell on my back there? Oh, <laughs> bird shit. Has a bird shitted on my back? Can you believe that? <laughs> Halfway through a food review and a bird comes and shits on me back. But I tell you what, it's not gonna stop me from doing this food review. That is gotta be absolutely hilarious. The cameraman is absolutely <laughs> pissing himself laughing. This is unreal. I don't think this ever happened in any food review. Right. <laughs> oh, I think I've got it on me as well. Oh. Never mind the bird shit on me back, guys. <laughs> Let's move on with the review. Chicken. Tikka kebab, up in our style, like I said. You got some uh, olives there, tomatoes, peppers, onions, chicken, mushrooms. There's quite a lot going off on that pizza. Underneath, not much grease as well. Nice, light, fluffy dough. Let's see what it tastes like. I cannot believe that. That is unreal. Halfway through a review, and a bird shits on your back. Unreal. Right then, guys. Let's take a look at this. That looks lovely, hard. It looks lovely. Take a look at that. That is absolutely jam packed. Jam packed with fillings. You even got some herbs as well there. I've never seen that on a pizza. Let's try it. Mmm. I don't think I've tried a pizza with that kind of flavor about it. It's definitely got that Punjabi vibe going on. There's a lot happening with this pizza. You can taste the mushrooms, you can taste the onions, you can taste the olives. Everything's just going round in perfect motion, perfect harmony. One isn't overpowering the other. Mm. And that base, base is nice, it's light and it's fluffy. Garlic sauce as well. You know I'm a big fan of garlic sauce. Nice and creamy there. Nice creamy texture. Let's take a bite of this. Wow. 
Mm. I tell you what, guys. I don't know the postcode of this shop, but I can tell you it's on Frederick Street. It's in Shell Shields, and if you're driving by, you definitely got to check this place out. Right. Let's move on to the chili. I don't want to make too much of a mess. That close there. Chili sauce. Whoop! Well, no, that's the chest, ain't it? I'm getting muddled up here, guys. Right. They've also thrown in cheese garlic bread. Let's see what this tastes like. Chili sauce. Take a look at that, Ali. Looks homemade. Chili sauce, like I said, looks homemade. Let's see what it tastes like. Get a look at that. Right. Let's get the chili kickometer on. Let's see how long it takes to get that kick. <laughs> yeah. That is by far. Initially, the sweetest chili I've tried. But right at the end, you get that boof. You get that kick in the back of your throat. Actually, it's mild. It starts off mild and sweet, mild and sweet, mild and sweet. Then all of a sudden, it goes boof. Let's you know it's there. Right then, guys. After all that spice, I need a bit of a drink. Iron brew made with garters almost feels Scottish. Right. Last but not least, portion of chips. Average fries. They're not home cooked. They're gonna be fries. What matters is what kind of quality of fries they are. Are they gonna be a cheap, nasty fries or are they gonna be nice fries? That's what I'll let you know. Mm. Nice quality fries taste like fries should taste and I tell you what they complement the food perfectly now then score time despite birds shitting on me back despite having chili sauce all over my face Just got grilled though. It's been an absolute pleasure. Your food tastes beautiful. It's got a hint of Punjabi flavor. I like what's going on inside. You've got some great deco in there. You've got a great seating area. And you've got plenty of parking. I'll show them the parking. Parking all the way down this street. And there's one behind as well. There's one behind as well. So Parking is not going to be an issue. They also do desserts. Let's not forget. They do desserts. They've got a fantastic range of drinks Quality Quality food quality prices busy little establishment Today the food troll is going to be giving Jessica Grilda aka the pleasure of the grill a nice solid 9.5 This place has officially been food troll Certified.